What's going on guys and welcome back to another LS Swap video. Today I'm going to continue work on the fuel tank replacement. So let's jump right into it. Okay, so it looks like they are pretty much identical. Um, the main things I was looking for are where the filler tube comes out. Comes out in the same spot. It's got the same cutouts and notches. It's got this drop down right here. That one's got the drop down. It's got the drop down back there for the new um, EFI. And this one didn't have a fuel pump, so that's why this one doesn't have a notch down there. But looks like the tank straps ride in the same place. Tank strap rides right there. This tank strap rides right there. So it looks like they're pretty much identical. And now all I gotta do is get the wiring plumbed up and I will probably start working on the fuel lines first. So let me kind of get this set up here and see where the fuel lines are going to come out and then figure out how I'm going to get them cut, get them sized up and ran. Okay. All right. So with the fuel tank removed, what I'm going to do is work on removing the factory fuel lines. So I got that line there, two lines right there. And they all converge down to the frame rail and head up the car so i'm gonna work on removing those looks like this one is held on with a bolt here on this bracket i'll probably just remove this whole bracket um follow it along looks like i got another bolt if i can get you guys up there to see it another bolt right here so i've got a couple of them i gotta get taken out and then i will get the old fuel lines out and go from there okay old fuel lines are out and I think what I'm going to do now is take my fuel tank and set it up in the back of the car and figure out where the fuel lines are going to run. But before I do that, actually, over here, so I'm going to run a 6 a.n. return and I'd like to run an 8 a.n. feed because I do plan on going turbo uh, with this motor. So 8 a.n. will be sufficient fuel. Uh, so I like to go 8 a.n. speed, but the 8 a.n. adapter I had didn't fit. It actually hit this on the base, and it just it, I couldn't get it to screw in. So I have an adapter. I'm going to try and throw that on real quick and see what it does, see if it fits. The 6 a.n. fit just fine. It's got clearance under it, not a lot, but a little bit. The 8 a.n. had no clearance. It would not fit. So let me get that adapter and see if I can get a thread in there. And see if it fits. Okay, so my adapter worked right there because I had to get this big huge deal off of this because it was hitting, like I said, the flange. So this is what I'm thinking. Um, my original fuel lines came out and went to the driver's side, but I got a brake line that runs over there, so it's going to be taking up quite a bit of room. I would like to run these along my passenger frame rail. So what I've got going is it comes out my feed has a 90 which i don't really like because of restriction but i'm gonna do what i gotta do so that's kind of part of the reason why i went with 8 an but i've got a 90 on the feed and a 45 on the return and this is going to be for my vent this is also going to be for my vent and that's kind of the setup i'm going to go with for now so i'm going to get a set in the car and see how it fits and about where these are going to go. Um, I might have to angle them. They're not tight. I might have to angle them down. I'm not entirely sure. But that's kind of the setup I'm thinking. So let me get this set in the car and see where things are going to set. With this, I've got everything assembled. I've got my green wire right here. That is going to be from my PCM. It goes to my relay. And then from my relay, it's going to run back to my fuel pump. This wire here is my ground. Let me get a couple of these things out of the way. Ground, power, uh, this is for my fuel sending unit. That is the ground wire. Power wire goes here. I've got the power wire hanging here. This is the factory original one. I snipped the end off, put a different end on it so I could attach it. And then I've got my vent tube connected. This Y that I wasn't sure on what it was, this is what it is. So main vent for the tank there. The vent here, and then 
This attaches, and I'll show you what I got going on. It attaches, ugh, made this bracket right up there. So I actually have my rollover vent right up there. That's right, it's above my frame, or it's right up next to my frame, so it's high enough. We've got the tube running down here, and I have not cut it to length yet because I don't know how long I need it. But it shouldn't go anywhere. I put a tie down right here, so it shouldn't go anywhere. And now, what I've got to do is take my tank and just put it up there. And I've got these angled down. They are tight now. They're secured. But I've got them angled down so that my fuel lines are going to come out of there and down to the passenger side. So I'm going to set my tank up there now and I'll set you guys up to see it go in. All right, fuel thing's in. So, let me show you where I'm at with this. Hold on to that real quick. So, I got it in, it's strapped up. I do not have my filler tube on yet. Uh, that's the next step. I do have my power wire to the fuel sending unit. It was this factory wire, it goes up into a grommet up there. I got both straps on. And, back here in the back. This is kind of my plan. So here is my feed, there's my return, here's my vent, my power wire for my fuel pump. I actually had a hole in the floorboard of the trunk and I threw a grommet in there. So it's running into my trunk. Uh, not a big deal because I'm going to run it with the factory tail light wiring. Then I've got my grounds going to the strap mount for the tank. I got both my fuel lines. Like I said, I want to run to the passenger side, so they're both running from here. They're going to run over there. They're going to follow the frame rail. So up and over. It's going to follow my frame rail. I'll have it above my parking brake cable because it's not even connected. It hasn't been in forever. And I will continue to run it along the frame rail until I get to the front where I plan on making a bulkhead for it for my fuel lines. So let me go ahead and get these fuel lines all situated and tied up and right to the front. I also got to put a fuel filter in. I'll probably put it in somewhere, I don't know, probably right there along the, the uh, frame rail. So let me get it set up there and show you guys where I'm at once I get all these fuel lines kind of plumbed. All right, so I've got all of my fuel lines now completely plumbed and done. So comes up there, goes over here to my frame rail. I had the factory clamps for the factory fuel lines. I just spread them out so that it holds both lines now. Follows my frame line all the way down. And then picking up over here, that's where you just seen. Picking up over here, it follows frame rail. Like I said, it goes right above my parking brake cable because I don't use it. It's not hooked up. Comes out right there, loops around, follows my pinch weld on the bottom of the car. Goes into my fuel filter. And then from there, I ran it up forward. 
where it actually goes above my frame and then inside the engine bay like I was saying I was gonna do I built a bulkhead so my feed and my return my feed and return are both right here they got a bulkhead that I've made that way I can plumb it from here and if I ever had a problem if I want to pull the motor out I wouldn't have to pull all the fuel lines out I can just pull it from here so these are gonna go to the back of the motor and the fuel pump is now done so let's go over here to this disaster and mark some stuff off so I've got my fuel tank fuel sending unit depth was done whenever I put the tank together pump depth done whenever I put the tank together the fuel lines have been ran fuel pump wiring done and sending unit wiring done that means the fuel tank is done so Got to move on from there. Things where I'm gonna leave off, guys. This has been a couple day project. Um, it's definitely taken a while. So the fuel tank is now in, and that was my main objective for now. Because now I can get the car back down on the ground. As always, guys, hit that like, leave a thumbs up, comment down below if you have any questions, subscribe, and if you're new to subscribe, make sure you click that bell notification. Alright guys, have a good day. Thanks for watching.